Welcome finally to a Game of Thrones in Crusader Kings 3. After a long, long wait, it is finally in. I've had it for a few days and I've messed around with it a little bit. And I gotta say, it is absolutely fantastic. But today, we are starting as Lord Paramount Robert of the Stormland. Because we end up facing off in a massive war. As you can see, we are fighting the Iron Throne. So we have Robert's Rebellion. My beloved Lyanna has been kidnapped by the vile prince. After protesting to King Aerys, Richard Stark was burned alive, whilst his son Brandon looked on. The Mad King has demanded that John, my guardian, turn me over to him. He refused. And that is why we are all standing against the Mad King's tyranny. So here we go. We are on the attacking side against the Iron Throne with the Mad King himself, the War of the Usurper. And if we win, we get to decide who will rule the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne. But if we lose, he will decide the fate of us. So it is essential that we win. They are a bit more powerful than us, but that's okay. Hopefully we can win. But yeah, this mod it does have two new court positions. We have the Castilian and you can like change like his role. So we can do loads of different things, make him do stewardship, boost your money and stuff like that. And then we have an admiral, which can help with your disembarkment cost or help a little bit with your taxes as well. And I gotta say before I start this, either tomorrow so it should be the Saturday, or if not, the Monday. I'm going to be starting like a mini-series again, similar to what we did with the Slavia campaign. So that will be going on next week. I got a little bit of a plan, and it does involve being a vassal to the Lannisters and trying to defeat them. The pretty cool decision, but we'll leave that until then. And one thing I always like to do with these mods is just look at the map. This one especially is absolutely insane. It's one of the things I love about the Lord of the Rings mod is the map and all the detailed little domains. Look at all this. Like just the detail on them is insane. Look how many there are. There's just domains everywhere. And then to the north, we have the wall, as you can see. Which is just insane to see something like this in Crusader Kings 3. And we have the capital as well of the Iron Throne. Look how dense this is. It's got to be the most dense city I've ever seen in CK3. And you can get right up close. See a massive statue. And if we look at the capital of the Westerlands. One thing that blew my mind. It's only little, but it's just one of those things that go to show the detail in the mod. How many people are really going to see this? Do you know what I mean? And it's just there, tucked away. But I love little things like that in the detail. It's just absolutely insane. Now, with religions, as you can see, they're way, way bigger with completely unique tenets. So the most devout, God's words, and they're just way bigger. There's way more things to them. They may have Patreon aspects. You can select one of them. So maybe for us, we'll go with the father, plus one diplomacy, minus one intrigue, and a little bit of popular opinion. Okay, so anyway, for this war, I am going to raise my troops all the way up north. Because if we look, a lot of my allies are up here, and we kind of need to meet with them as soon as possible because there is 93,000 of them as well, basically. So if we're down south with like 20,000 men on our own, have we just been caught out already? Okay, this mod on five speed moves incredibly fast. So we have to be careful of that. We can win this battle though. That's a lovely start for us. And fallen rival. So I think this was the guy who stole my lover, I believe. So I'm assuming, yeah, Richard Hope has just killed him. You know what? Fair play. Good on you. There's a lot more of them coming in. If we can win this battle, it would be really important. Come on. This is huge. Come on. More keep jumping in. Keep jumping in. Oh, not that many. Or maybe? I'm scared to see how many people have died in this battle. This is a ridiculous battle. How many troops? 79,000 versus 92. So we, we lost 12,000 men. They lost 28,000. Okay. That is huge for this war. We are now up 43%. Whereas big battle going on up by his capital. If we can jump up here, flip this battle. And you know what? Maybe it's not a bad idea to try and siege his capital. Just like that, we won. To be king or not to be king. I've emerged victorious after my war with the murderous Targaryen dynasty. So forces loyal to me want me to make me king. But I have to ask myself, do I truly want to be? Yes, obviously. Is it really a question? As I have now ascended the Iron Throne, I must decide who will rule over the Stormlands in my steed. There are my brothers, 
Stannis and Renly, but I can always rely on one of my Estomont relatives. Yeah, a close family. I'll choose a family member. So we get to choose now who will take over the Stormlands, the lands we did just hold. So, uncle, cousin, cousin, uncle. You know what? We'll give it to Stannis. He's 19. He looks a bit mean. So you know what? Stannis it is. Here we go. And he absolutely loves me now, of course. So we have the war's aftermath. At long last, we have achieved victory in the face of those who sought to rebel against me and disrupt my righteous rule. Now that the traitors are within my grasp, the time has come to choose the fate that shall befall them. So bring them before me. What are we going to do? So the walls, look at that, look at that, look at the throne. I'll see if we can get a closer look at that in a sec. That is insane. So, so you are in my prison. Wait, is this something we can do after every wall? That would be insane. So he kneels before me. What can we do? We can take his titles, take specific title, take main titles, take entire dements or take half, banishment, Send the traitor to the wall. Select hostage. Right. Execution. You know what? We will take half of his land and we'll leave him there to suffer underneath us. We don't want him running away to the wall. He is going to stay below us. So here we go. So we get through this for a lot of people now, maybe. So we have Lord Roger. Damn, you can execute his, can you execute his entire house? Wait, what is this? So we can leave the prison or we can execute all three of them. What if we do that then? I think we just wiped out his entire family. The rest of them, I think we'll, we'll just take main titles. We'll just take all their titles. There we go. Look at this throne room. Oh, how far was that about to go out for cult artifacts? Just look at this place. But banners on the wall. Look how big that banner is. Oh my, look at them. We'll put our banners up, of course. We you know what? We'll even display his banner as just a mark of disrespect. We come and we took it. But yeah, this throne room is insane. Wait, I'm not even... Where am I? Why am I on the throne? Wait, so we sentenced this guy just now, and somehow he's free, and he's rising up in rebellion against me. You have 200 men. Like, we got random special troops here. What was your plan? <laughs> like, seriously. But yeah, I am going to watch Game of Thrones soon. I just haven't got around to it. I've been meaning to watch it for ages, but I will definitely do it soon, especially after playing the mod. It's kind of made me want to do it more. So as well as our council, we now have a Kinsguard. So you have Lord Commander of the Kinsguard. And what do these do then? He helps of garrison size, levy size, and reinforcement rate. Okay. And then we have a bunch of our kins guards. So they can bodyguard us or... Wait, what is this? So let's have a look. Rest of our kins guard, they can be protection or bodyguard. So it seems when we do this, we have the ability to select a county. Kins guard assignment. I can assign my kins guard Lewin to protect one of my guests or courtiers. Oh. So we can get him to protect me. Does that... Okay, interesting. So we can actually put them into certain like counties and their whole job is to protect certain people but the armor looks fantastic sadly i don't have full screen barbershop on to fully appreciate it but it looks insane and our armor as well looks fantastic but i love when big mods like this they take their time but when they come out they just do everything right do you know what i mean like it's not rushed at all which is definitely the best way to do it wait we have so many crowns okay they all seem to do the same thing so we just choose one oh it actually comes up on his head look so we can choose what crown we want no, we'll go with this one. Looks pretty cool. Oh, so look, his armor is special to him. Look, we have a masterwork Robert's armor and it only goes on when we actually equip it to our armor slot. So we have our very own special armor in the game. So yeah, looking at decisions, we can hold a grand tawny. But right now we are at war. Are we at war? Oh god, I've completely forgot about this guy. <laughs> we are still at war. We'll just quickly siege it. Wait, the golden... Wait, my... Wait, she just died? Was she meant to die? Because she was still alive after that war. But it says, the golden bride, Liana, is dead. And my heart has never known so deep a sorrow. The wine numbs most of the pain, but there is emptiness that lingers inside. My sweet, sweet Liana. After a few more days of grieving, the Grand Meister informs me of a proposal from Lord Tywin. He has offered me his daughter. She is perfect and beautiful, I am told, but can she truly compare to my lost love? So, the daughter of Tywin Lannister. You know what? I, I think an alliance with us would be quite good. He is an insanely powerful vassal, so I don't think that's a bad idea. But yeah, look at our empire size. It's absolutely insane. We have the Iron Throne with all of this, and then we have the wall, and then these guys to our north, just doing their own thing. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I was having some decisions because we were having to redo the King's Guard. So I just put that wall this guy is one of our king's guards. And his father has now come to us and said, I must thank you, my perceptive king, for bestowing the honor of serving within your royal guard upon my son. That's pretty cool. And we grow closer 
to forming a friendship. I'm interested to see how many unique decisions are in this mod. Because even little things like that, like people wouldn't notice if that just wasn't a thing. It wouldn't really matter, but it's still there, which is the important thing, which is insane. Well, that's interesting. So with these like big capitals, there's a few different counties you have to go on to siege to get it all, not just this one be here. So they're actually quite big, the amount you do have to siege around them. There's another one be here as well. After that, we do have his full capital under lock. Yeah, that war took a surprising amount of time. It took three years, but we have defeated the revolt against King Robert. Finally. So what can we do with the wall then? We can't fight them or anything, but we can offer him a squire, making him or someone in his court the knight of the chosen character. So we give him him. Yes, a squire trait, and he becomes a knight of this guy. The proposed squire is not right in the mind. Oh, oh yeah. Fair enough. He is possessed. Good spot. I didn't even spot that one. Fair enough. But yeah, just like when the other big mods release, to like when Elder Kings did after the end and the Witcher mod. The first video on release day, I just like to do like a general overplay, just exploring the map, talking about things, trying out the new decisions and stuff like that. But like I said, soon, either the next day or the Monday after, we're going to start a pretty cool series, which I'm really, really excited to get into. But we now have the decision to hold a grand tourney. Let's go. Begin the preparation. The tourney of King's Landing. So, I will watch every joust. You know what? Let's go for it. I've no idea how this works, but apparently we're watching every joust. So, let us begin. So, we just seen this lord triumph over the other one. Okay. So, these two are going next. I'm putting my money on the small guy. You know what? He's short, but he's a savage. So, Lord Gunser. Place a bet. Yes. You know what? Lord Gunser, 150 gold. Do not disappoint me, please. And there we go. I knew it. He won it. It was a thrilling bet. We gained 267 gold. Can we get them all right? Let's see. Hubbard. Mm, you know what? The name Hubbard's not doing it for me. I'm sorry. So, Lord Corwin. You know what? Let's go. Do not disappoint me. And again, we got it. You know what? The, the name Hubbard was a giveaway. You're not about it if your name's Hubbard. I'm sorry. So now we have Master Landon Regis, I believe that is. Yeah, you know what? He's stuttering, but he's there to prove a point. Let's go. Come on, Landon. And again, are we... I'm going to have to start gambling in real life. If I'm just this good, I could be a millionaire. Who are we going with next? You know, this guy's old. He's about it. He's been around. You know what? I believe. Wait, is this rigged? Am, am I meant to win everyone I bet or what? Is it's just unlimited money. Surely not. <laughs> This, this feels broken. We're literally picking every single person who wins. Who are we going with? This guy's just freaking me out, so I'm going to go with him. Oh, we lost. We finally lost. I can't believe that. You know what? We, we earned a lot of money from that, though. There's a lot of them you can bet on. Look, I just keep skipping through this. It goes on a lot. So you can make a lot of money doing this. Look how many there are. I don't think it's ever ending. So they're going for There's going to be one left. Who is left? Who is the tawny champion? No, wait. Yes, we betted on you, didn't we, at one point? because about his stuttering, I remember that. So, Master Landon is the tawny champion. We can make him a knight. Yes, definitely. My tawny has been a glorious affair. And while Master Landon's name will doubtless echo in the minds of small folk and noble alike, my name too will perhaps linger in their memories. Truly a tawny for the ages. Well done. Well, there we go. Finally... I am sat on my throne with my king's guard watching over me. So here we have our capital. And as you can see, all these different buildings are actually all inside this over here, look. And there's a lot of like different buildings and stuff in this game as well. So we have the red keep in our capital, plus 2,000 garrison, more taxes. We have the normal buildings, of course. We have beekeepers and godswoods, loads of special buildings. We have dragon pit, less taxes, but a bigger defender and advantage. Over here, we have the Great Sept of Belor. Three more tax a month. That is huge. But yeah, honestly, there's so many special buildings. Over here in Tywin's land, Castle Rock. I love that that's just Castle Rock. Nice. And of course, I want to say, let me know in the comments who you're playing first in Game of Thrones. Anyone in particular? Any plans for your first campaign inside the mod? I know what mine's going to be like I said. We're going to try and defeat the Lannisters and reviving our dead dynasty through a decision. It's going to be pretty fun. But I've got some stuff left I need to do with that before I do record it. So I'm going to try and get that done. But yeah, I'm definitely interested to hear some of yours and not because I'm going to steal them for potential videos. I would never. Now, I'm going to be honest, I have no idea, of course, about the backstory or anything. But at one point, I definitely want to play over here. Like this guy looks insane. His lands look insane. He's of the Iron Islands. His faith is the drowned god and his culture is ironborn. Like this guy's just, a, look at his capital 
battle as well over the over the ocean. I, I definitely need to play as these guys at some point. They just look insane. You know what? For today, actually, I think I'm going to leave that here. Like I said earlier, when like a big mod releases, I like to spend on the day of release just making a video, talking and showing off some of the great new features, right? But like I also did say earlier, either starting tomorrow or to be honest, most likely Monday, we are going to have a brand new series starting. Now that we have finished the Slavia one, probably about three parts maybe four, depending on how it goes, where our plan is to start inside of Tywin Lannister's realm and take a decision that brings back our old dynasty and, if possible, take down the Lannisters themselves. Now, it's going to be tough. He has a lot of men, but should be interesting. Yeah, thank you all so, so much for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy. And of course, a massive thank you to the mod team for giving me early access so I could create these videos. And as always, a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermio 1, Toxic Flame, Caesar, Mr. Diesel, and Emperor Augustus. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.